So, you know, talking about sort of like a timeline for a return and when you get back, you know, I'm curious, do you feel like you need an eternal title win in order to sort of get into the UFC? Because in the past, that was sort of the very sort of set pathway, need an eternal title. That's when they'll sort of call you up. But, you know, mm-hmm. we saw with Stuart Nickel, we're seeing with other sort of Australian, New Zealand fighters that that's not necessarily the case. You can stand out and make a name for yourself. You don't necessarily need that title to get the call up. But do you feel like you need that eternal title win or do you feel like you can set yourself apart with your performances, you know, with your personality, as you say, to get that call up? Yeah, um, I I don't think I need I don't think I need the belt to to get that call up. I look, I, I, I'd like getting the belt, but not. From me thinking that it's needed for the call up, I, the only reason I'd like to get the belt is because. I think it'd be cool to be able to hang that in the gym and like kind of, I don't know if it feels like I'm physically able to really give something to the gym there that kind of like shows what we do. Um, that's the only reason that I really want the belt. And that, that is the most prestigious belt in the country um, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I really think that the UFC care a lot more about violent finishes Um and that's more my goal. Like I think uh, my my last fight, that's how I want all my fights to look. I just want yeah. the other guy either knocked out on the ground unconscious, face down on the mat, or I want him dripping in his uh, pool of his own blood or both because that would be great too. Um, and like those are the fights that I get the most satisfaction from, right? Like working with my own, working with my mindset coach, um, Eric Simmons, one of the things that we've talked about is – I want to, I think I perform the best when I try to fight in a way that I'm thinking about things that I can control. Okay. So like, if I think about like, oh, like, will this fight set me up for my next fight, which could get me the belt? I, I kind of fight a little bit terrible. I'm like overthinking things. I'm, I'm in there. I'm too tense. Um, but when I really do just let myself focus on like, uh, trying to do as much damage to the other guy as possible, which is absolutely in my control. I feel like I perform a lot better. Um, my my coach, uh, uh, my my mindset coach, asked me a question after I lost to um, to 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 Quillen the second time. He said, "If you you had have looked over and while Quillen was like had the belt around his waist, if he was covered in his own blood, um, would you have felt better?" And I said, yeah, you know what? I would have felt a lot better. Um, so I think it's something that makes me more comfortable with winning, losing, anything that could happen. Um, and I think you have to be co- comfortable with anything that could happen when you're going into a fight. So um, really trying to chase like a, a damage-based mindset, that is kind of where I'm really finding myself performing the best. You know, I, that last fight that I had, that was the most relaxed I've ever felt in a fight. It felt awesome. It felt like I really was having a whole bunch of fun um, and like almost trying not to smile for that reason, like during the fight. Like I was so happy in there. So that that's definitely the, the go for me from now on.